Hello friends and welcome to Techie Jack. As we have completed most of the important topic of Exchange 2016, which is quite informative for the beginners as well as for the intermediates. If anyone who understand the DNS, Active Directory or have an experience with Windows Server environment, he or she can easily understand this complete series of Exchange 2016. Though you may see some more upcoming Exchange videos in this channel, but let's understand and try to learn something about Exchange Online in Office 365. So before starting the journey of Exchange Online in Office 365, it is good to understand or get the overview of what is Office 365, Microsoft 365 and Azure AD. So let's first discuss about Office 365 and Microsoft 365. Office 365 offers softwares as a service and the major services in Office 365 is Exchange Online, Skype for the Business, SharePoint and Office 365 Pro Plus. And some other services which Office 365 includes are like Yammer, OneDrive, Teams, Planner and some other robust productivity and security features. In older days when there was no cloud service available, we used to install these services as a software and have to manage their service and servers. Now they are available software as a service and you have to just sign up for the subscription to use these services. Let's see what is Microsoft 365. Basically Microsoft 365 is a bundle of services with including Office 365, Enterprise Mobility plus Security and Windows 10. That means the user who subscribe for Microsoft 365, he gets the benefit of Office 365 additionally with Enterprise Mobility, Security and Windows 10. That means if a user only subscribe for Office 365, he will not get the Enterprise Mobility, Security and Windows 10. It is included in only Microsoft 365. And for example, if your office have a rented seats and your contract is over and your owner decide to change the location to a different office, you not need to worry about neither you have to move any computer or network. Your complete office will be online. You just need an internet connection your computers and office document will be in a place even if you are logged in with a different location you can separate your work computer and personal computer and if you talk about the Azure AD all the instances of Microsoft 365 and Office 365 runs under M Microsoft Azure Office 365 uses Azure Active Directory a cloud-based user identity and authentication service that is included with your Office 365 subscription to manage identities and authentication for Office 365. Now let's talk about Exchange Online. We will be learning Exchange Online which lies under Office 365. And if you have an on-premises Exchange server, you cannot say that you are, you are using Exchange Online though it is online and it has to be online to send and receive email 24 by 7. You can say that my on-premises exchange server is online 24 by 7. If you are not planning to move your email to the cloud, then on-premises exchange is a suitable fit for you. If you do not have any email system in-house like on-premises exchange and you want your emails to be hosted on Office 365, you can subscribe for the exchange online where you can manage the users and create email address for them. And in this case, it's not necessary to have on-premises exchange. Our third option is a hybrid exchange where your organization is planning to move your current email system to the cloud and want to keep some of the mailboxes to on-premises and some on cloud. Then you can use the hybrid exchange option. It depends on the scenario how you want to set your hybrid connectivity with Exchange Online. You can only say that you are using Exchange Online if your emails are hosted on cloud. If your emails are hosted on-premises that means it's a on-premises Exchange server 
and if some of the emails are hosted on cloud and some of the emails are hosted on premises that means it's a hybrid exchange so guys i hope you found the video informative and you get the overview of office 365 microsoft 365 exchange online and hybrid exchange and azure ready so let's meet in a next video with some other interesting topic